good morning respected dignitaries esteemed teachers supportive parents and my dear teacher students it's an honor and a privilege to welcome each one of you to our much anticipated annual day celebration this is a day of pride reflection and celebration as we gather to recognize the achievements talents and hard work of our students staff throughout the year today we are thrilled to showcase the brilliant creativity and enthusiasm that make our school such a wonderful place to learn and grow our annual day is not just about entertainment it is a platform where students get to express their creativity take the stage and make unforgettable memories from vibrant performance to inspiring speeches we have a wide array of programs lined up i request our principal ma'am ranjita maish joshi ma'am to escort our dignitaries to the dais thank you ma'am as we gather here for this joyous occasion of our annual day celebration let us take a moment to seek blessings for the day ahead prayer as a special way to connecting us grounding us and filling us with gratitude and peace quest everyone to rise for the prayer
Lighting of the lamp symbolizes the dispelling of darkness and the journey toward wisdom and knowledge. I would like, I would now like to invite our esteemed chief guest, along with our respective principal and other dignitaries, to come forward for the lighting of the lamp. launch let me first acknowledge the presence of our eminent guest i would like to invite formally my colleague mrs lavanya sukesh to welcome the gathering good morning everyone it is indeed a privilege to stand before you on this momentous occasion of our annual day celebration today we come together not only to celebrate the achievements of our students, but also to inspire and encourage young minds to showcase their talents and potential. Ladies and gentlemen, before we commence this vibrant program, it is my honor to introduce and extend a warm welcome to our distinguished chief guest, Ms. Preeti Nayak. We are deeply grateful that she has graciously accepted our invitation and taken the time out of her busy schedule to join us on this special day. 
Ms. Priti Nayak is a co-founder of Juice Bottle, the first and only manufacturing facility in Mangalore for bottled fresh juices with no preservatives and artificial colors. Juices are hygienically processed in a centralized production facility using the right technology, ensuring the right balance of taste, freshness, health and convenience. She was born and raised in Kerala, where she did her schooling. She graduated from Stella Maris College, Chennai, before completing her MBA from XLRI, James Shetpur, in the year 2006. She was fortunate enough to join the leading private life insurance company of that time, ICICI Prudential Life Insurance Limited, and worked for eight years, gaining experience in sales and marketing, business analytics, new business vertical management, and national level bank assurance profiles. She is currently a partner of Jyoti Cycle and Fitness, a family managed business. At Juice Bottle, she heads production and operations, business development and HR functions of the firm, where her husband, Mr. Ganesh Nayak, heads the retail operations, finances, marketing and branding strategies. She is a member of KCCI and Evolve. She a woman entrepreneur, Association of Mangalore. She is also a member of Board of Studies of Department of Sociology at St. Aloysius College for the academic year 2023-24. She was awarded Exceptional Woman of Excellence at the Founder 2023, Women's India Chamber of Commerce and Industry and Enterprising Woman Entrepreneur Award by Union Bank of India on the occasion of International Women's Day, March 8, 2023. Having her here with us is truly an honor and we are thrilled to have the opportunity to hear her words of wisdom and encouragement. On behalf of everyone present, I extend a heartfelt welcome to you, ma'am. We are delighted to have you with us and look forward to a memorable day ahead. I request our secretary, Mr. Mahishil Bundal, sir, to kindly present a bouquet to our esteemed chief guest, Ms. Preeti Nayak. Thank you, sir. I extend my heartfelt gratitude and a warm welcome to our secretary, Sri Mahishil Bundal, sir, for his constant support and guidance in all our endeavors. A very warm welcome to you, sir. I request Mrs. Rashmi Prashant to welcome our secretary, sir, on our behalf. Thank you, ma'am. I also extend a special welcome to our principal, Srimati Ranjita Mahesh Joshi. Thank you, ma'am, for your leadership, for guiding both students and teachers, and for always being there whenever we needed your support. A warm welcome to you, ma'am. I request Mrs. Akshata Rao to welcome our principal, ma'am, on our behalf. Thank you, ma'am. I would also like to extend a heartfelt welcome to the heads of our sister institutes. It is an honor to have you with us today. Thank you for your presence. A warm welcome to all the office bearers of Old Student Association, Anandashram High School, members of the management, PTA members and invitees. I also warmly welcome the parents of our students who have joined us today to encourage and cheer our students. Your presence means a lot to us. A heartfelt welcome to you, dear parents. It is my pleasure to welcome our dear teachers, students, and non-teaching staff. Without your hard work and dedication, this program would not have been possible. A warm welcome to all, all of you. Let us now sit back, relax, and enjoy today's program, which we have all been eagerly awaiting. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your earnest welcome address. Prize distribution is a memorable, bright, sp proud, special, and most awaited event for every student. It gives a sense of happiness and a sense of responsibility for fulfilling commitments with dedication. And now, it's a time to appreciate the talent of our shining stars. I request 
Mrs. Rashmi ma'am to take over. Good morning everyone. I would like to announce the names of the students who have achieved prizes in various activities, curricular and co-curricular for academic year 2024-25. Prize list 2024-25 from grade 3. Now I would request our chief guest to give away the prizes. Anvi Jayashetty, first place in best out of waste, second place in card making, third, second place in storytelling. Ansika S. Pilla, second place in general proficiency, third place in best out of waste. Kanmani M. Kulal, first place in general proficiency, third place in card making. Ridit P. Shetty, third place in general proficiency, third place in storytelling. Siani S, yes, third place in handwriting competition and consolation prize in card making competition. Aradhya J, first place in card making competition. Shivin, first place in storytelling competition. Arshit ESM, first place in handwriting competition. Aditya P, third place in handwriting competition. Now grade 4. Loka K, second place in pick and speak, second place in mono act, second place in completing the story, third place in general proficiency. Pratham U, first place in general proficiency, second place in handwriting competition, third place in completing the story competition. Himani HK, first place in mono act, Third place in pick and speak. Toshani, first place in pick and speak competition.
Aikya Shetty, first place in completing the story competition. Sanvi Shetigar, first place in handwriting competition. Shreya D, second place in general proficiency. Vanshi SM, third place in mono act competition. Datri, third place in handwriting competition. Aryan, consolation prize in completing the story competition. Now grade 5 and 6. Saish Amin, second place in general proficiency, second place in handwriting competition, second place in pick and speak. Mayin Shriram, first place in Mono Act and Consolation Prize in completing the story competition. Ridwani, third place in handwriting competition and first place in secured 100% attendance in the academic year 2023-24. Trishan Adka, first place in pick and speak competition. Rajashri, first place in handwriting competition. Madhav Bhatt, first place in general proficiency. Taksh D. Isle, third place in general proficiency. Ridhya M. Shetty, first place in completing the story, third place in general proficiency. Dishan, third place in mono act, third place in pick and speak. Chirag U.S. Second place in general proficiency, third place in completing the story. Thank you, ma'am. Now I would request our secretary, Mahesh L. Bondal, sir, to give away the prizes. Ayush M. Pai, first place in general proficiency. Mm -hmm. 
यशस बट सेकेंड प्लेस इन मोनो एक्ट दात्री सी सेकेंड प्लेस इन कंप्लीटिंग द स्टोरी सेकेंड प्लेस इन हैंड राइटिंग कॉम्पिटिशन सानवी फर्स्ट प्लेस इन हैंड राइटिंग कॉम्पिटिशन Aradhya R third place in completing the story competition Shriya R third place in handwriting competition now grade 7 8 and 9 Niswana first place in general from Please encourage the children parents please encourage them Niharika second place in general efficiency Vaibhavi third place in general proficiency Driti Anchan third place in collage making competition Janvi A Shetty third place in scarecrow competition Thank you sir Now I would request our principal Mrs Ranjita Mahesh Joshi ma'am to give away the prizes Shreyas Sadanand First place in general proficiency first place in collage making second place in scarecrow competition Anaga Anand Kamath second place in general proficiency Mahim K Uchil consolation prize in scarecrow competition Ronak T Shetty second place in collage making competition Rushil first place in scarecrow competition
Satvika Yu, first place in general proficiency. Manyata P, second place in general proficiency. Chirag Shetty, Consolation Prize in Collage Making Competition. Now, group members, six, come together. Gru uh, group Folk Dance Competition. First place goes to Bhakti House. Samriddhi R, Lishita, Shifali, Sinchana, Gyana, Manvi, Second place goes to Shanti House, Danya, Nidhiyam, Driti Anchan, Isha, Satvika, Manyata. Now load the board competition. First place goes to Sha Satya House, Chirag, Nishan, Suraj, Shravan, Vaibhavi, Ratul. Second place goes to Bhakti House, Gyana, Shifali, Sinchana, Satvik, Advait, Pujit. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, everyone. Hearty congratulations to all the winners. Thank you, ma'am. And congratulations. Good morning, everyone. It's time to honor and encourage our students who have excelled in academics in the previous year. We are grateful to the proprietor of uh, Fast Track Cycles, Tokotu, and the proprietor, uh, Archana Mahendra and team, who have voluntarily come forward and recognized the toppers of grade eight of academic year 2023-24, sorry. Now we request you to uh, please come forward, sir, and do the honors. I request our secretary and our chief guest to join them in the same. 
The winners of this award are Miss Satvika, grade 8. She has scored 575 out of 600 in the academic year 2023-24. She's also won the first prize in general proficiency. So she is the winner of uh, this award. And we also have uh, Miss Manyata P of uh, grade 8 who has uh, scored 570 out of 600. So I request uh, Manyata P also to come over to the stage. Fast Track Cycle Store is conveniently located at Tokoto, Derel Kate. It is your go-to destination for a diverse range of bicycles. They offer an extensive selection of geared, non-geared electric cycles to cater to all the cycling, cycling enthusiastic. So we are grateful for the humble gesture shown by the proprietor and the team of Fast, fast Track Cycles Tokoto. Thank you once again. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. To accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream, plan, and believe. We have indeed accomplished many things in this academic session and added many feathers to our cap. Let us welcome our principal, ma'am, Mrs. Ranjit Ranjita Mahesh Joshi, to acquaint us with the achievements of this academic year. Honorable Chief Guest of the Day, Ms. Preeti Naik, Honorable Secretary, Sri Mahesh L. Bondal, sir, members of the management, heads of the sister institutions coming under Saraswat Education Society, members of the Old Student Association, Anand Ashram High School, parents, teachers, my dear students, good morning and a very warm welcome to all of you. I have great pleasure in presenting to you the annual report of Parijnan Vidyale for the academic year 2024-25. This year has been marked by scientific, significant progress and moments of pride, from academic achievements to sports, from artistic expressions to community outreach. Our students have proven that they are capable of excellence in all spheres. Apart from preparing the children for academic demands, we give emphasis in preparing our children to face the challenges of the competitive world. It is a matter of great significance to us that the students who pass out from our school be well disciplined and carry forward the values they have inherited and excel in life, being role models in the society. We strive for excellence in everything we do our learning environment allows every student to prosper as individuals. Excellence is our expectation too. Our priority is not just subject. Instead, we aim at a holistic education, focusing overall development of all students. Equal opportunity is given to every student and our inclusive environment supports every student. We also value our relationships we are closely connected to our staff, students, parents, and all stakeholders and well-wishers. 
Parijnan Vidyalay was started in the year 2017 and was a dream come true for all of us. This year, we have added on class 9 and will be scaling up to class 10 in the next academic year. I'm happy to stand before you to read a brief report on the activities we conducted during the academic year at Vidyalay. The academic year 24-25 has been very purposeful and fruitful. The year witnessed many changes. Many noble ideas are brought in, whether in academics, co-curricular activities, all aiming at improving the quality of education and bringing about all-round development among the students. It's an honor and privilege to welcome you all to our annual day celebration. This occasion not only marks a celebration of the hard work and talents of our students, but also provides us an opportunity to reflect on the journey of the past year and share the achievements, progress, and milestones of our school community. Our strength is our faculty, who form the strong pillars of our institution. It is their dedication, commitment, care, and affection that has enhanced the healthy learning environment in the school. We have at present 32 teaching and 12 non-teaching members on the roll. The effective strength of the school at present is 536, girls 265, boys 268. Events during the academic year. The academic year 24-25 started on June 1st, 2024. Paridnyan Vidyalay Someshwar celebrated the National Youth Day on 12th January in the school auditorium. Makara Sankranti was celebrated in the school on 13th January. In connection with the Prana Pratishta ceremony at Ayodhya Rama Temple, we celebrated the event in the school auditorium on 20th January. Republic Day was celebrated at Paridnyan Vidyalay on 26th January in the presence of our guest, Subedar Nagraj Gatti. The CBSC Inspection Committee comprising of Mr. Vijay Krishnan, Principal Jawahar Navodaya School, Kasargod, and Mr. Dinesan, Principal Ambika English Medium School, Kasargod, visited the campus on the 22nd January 2024 for the inspection. We celebrated World Thinking Day on 22nd February. The students of Paridnyan Vidyalaya Nursery teamed up with their fathers to participate in the Cooking Without Fire competition held on 24th February. Students celebrated National Science Day on 28th February. We are happy to inform all of you that Paridnyan Vidyalaya has been granted affiliation by the Central Board of Secondary Education, CBSE, New Delhi, on 3rd May 2024. We celebrated World Environment Day at Vidyalaya on 5th June. All students participated and celebrated in the national, sorry, International Yoga Day on 21st June 2024 in the presence of our guest, Mr. Ravi Shankar. Student Council elec election was conducted on 1st July in the school. The students of Paridnyan Vidyalay celebrated Vana Mahotsava on the 4th of July. Guru Purnima was celebrated in the school auditorium on the 22nd July. Kargil Vijay Divas was celebrated on the 26th July at Paridnyan Vidyalay. Investiture ceremony was held at Vidyalay on the 22nd July 2024. Under the program Shiksha Sapta conducted by the CBSC board, various programs were conducted to various classes from 22nd to 27th July 2024. Independence Day was celebrated on 15th of August. Raksha Bandhan was observed on the 19th of August in our school auditori school auditorium in the presence of Sri Jairam Chembugudde. Teachers Day was celebrated by our students for the teachers on the 5th of September. Hindi Divas was celebrated on 14th September along with Onam. Annual sports meet was held in our grounds which was organized in the presence of our guest Mr. Gopinath Kumar. Students celebrated Gandhi Jayanti on the 2nd of October. Sharada Pujan was observed in Paridnyan Vidyalay on 7th October. Ganohoma and Saraswati Puja was performed. Deepavali was celebrated in the campus on 30th October. 
Various competitions were organized in the school during these celebrations and prizes were distributed. Club activities. Parignan Vidyalay inaugurated the Science Club on the 11th of July and organized an awareness program on behalf of Science Club on puberty, its changes, mensuration and hygiene by Dr. Archana Avi, assistant professor and team from Sharada Ayurveda College on 12th July. Quiz Club was inaugurated on 13th July in the presence of Mr. Sanjay and Mrs. Deepa from Udpi. Eco Club was inaugurated by our guest Mr. Chandrahasa on 29th July. Orientation program for parents. Group-wise orientation program was held for all the parents of all classes in June to familiarize them with the rules and regulation of the school and also their responsibility in supporting our efforts. Our parents. No school can function efficiently if parents and teachers do not act in partnership in the best interest of the children. Parents have every right to understand what's happening to their children in the school, and the teachers have the responsibility to share that information without prejudice with the parents. Such communication in the child's interest is possible only with mutual trust between the parent and the teachers. I would like to appreciate the support of our parents in all our endeavors. Achievements. Competitions play a prominent role in motivating students to perform and excel and offer a lot more rewards than just winning prizes. Competitions offer a chance for participants to gain substantial experience, showcase their skills, analyze and evaluate outcomes, and uncover personal aptitude. Competitions also encourage students to adopt innovative techniques and develop their ideas and skills. Hence, we encourage our students to participate in both inter-school as well as school level competitions. Sports and cultural competition. Our students participated in Ike's Chess Tournament 2024 for junior and senior categories under 14 and under 17 mixed group on 9th of August at Carmel School, Mudbidri. Our students participated in the football tournament for junior and senior category on 30th August at SDM School, Ashoknagar. Our students participated in the IKES Inter-School Literacy Competition, Sahit Yotsava 2024 Words and Prose Gala on 10th August 2024 at SDM Ashoknagar. Our students of under 14 group, both boys and girls, participated in the district level Coco match conducted by IKES held at St. Agnes School, Mangalore on 23rd of November and have backed the fourth place activities. We always, we always believe in the wholesome growth and development of a student. With the dedication of our qualitative teaching staff, we ensure love, security and trust to each one of our student. Cubs, Bulbuls, Scouts and Guides. I'm pleased to inform you that we had flagged off with the Cubs and Bulbuls in the year 2019 and Scouts and Guides in the year 2022. Today we have 57 Cubs 65 bulbuls, 50 scouts, and 52 guides. Our teachers, Mrs. Prasanna and Mr. Karthik, have completed their advanced course in scouting, which was held at Scout Guide Bhavan Pelikula on, from 10th May to 26th May. Skills for Adolescence program is introduced for students of class 6 to 9. It is a value-based educational program to improve the lives of youngsters throughout the world taken up by Lions Club. Co-curricular activities, we have Western dance classes, classical dance and draw drawing classes for the extracurricular activities. Teachers training. Our faculty has played an instrumental role in nurturing young minds and guiding them to reach their full potential. We have conducted several professional development workshops this year to ensure that our teaching practices remain innovative and effective. Teachers have incorporated more interactive methods of learning, blending traditional teaching with technology to keep students engaged and excited about their studies. 
all our staff of nursery section to class one have ended training session on creative teaching at SDM Mangalore on 14th and 15th May 2024. Our teachers, Mrs. Rakshita, Mrs. Divya, Mrs. Veena Kumari, Mrs. Chetana have attended training session on usage of technology in teaching at Shakti Residential School, Mangalore on 18th May. Our teachers, Mrs. Meghana, Mrs. Rashmi, Mrs. Lavanya, Mrs. Triveni, Mrs. Vishwanita have attended training session on techniques of teaching learning process by Dr. Jayashri R. Bolar at Shakti Residential School. Our teachers, Mrs. Meghana, Radhika, Mrs. Devishri, Mrs. Rashmi, Mrs. Pratima have attended training session on communication skills and language proficiency for professional excellence by Dr. Malini Hebar at Shakti Residential School. Paridyan Vidyalay had organized faculty development training session on self-development and was conducted by resource person Mr. Raghavendra Halla on 21st May 2024. We had organized staff enrichment session on classroom management and teaching skills conducted by resource person Mrs. Supriya on 22nd May 2024. Information regarding the foundational education in early childhood was taken by Mr. Gautam Daman for nursery to class two teachers on 24th May. Teachers of class one to three have attended a training session on 360 degree lens holistic report card creation by Mrs. Vamshipriya at SDM Manglo. Our teacher, Mrs. Uh, Ms. Dikshita Shetty has participated in the workshop on Python programming conducted by Kipps Learning Center on 15th June. She had a demo session on LMS conducted by Expo Technologies on 22nd June and a workshop on AI with advanced Python programming conducted on 26th June. Our teachers, Mrs. Rashmi P. and Mrs. Lavanya have attended basic fire and safety training on 28th and 29th of June at fire, uh, fire Station Kadri. A two-day CBS induction program was conducted at Paridnyan Vidyalaya Someshwar on 24th and 25th of July by resource person Dr. Gauri Prabha and Dr. Deepti Chaturvedi. Various CBSE school teachers participated in this program. Principal, Mrs. Ranjita Mahesh Joshi and our mathematics teacher, Mrs. Dikshita, have attended a two days training program on competency-based assessment in mathematics organized by the CBSE on 3rd and 4th of August at Mudubidri. Our principal and our English teacher, Mrs. Meghana Mahesh Joshi, have attended a two days training program on capacity building program in English organized by CBSE on 11th and 12th of August. Our teachers, Mrs. Rakshita Meghana and Mrs. Veena Kumari have attended a two days training program on competency based assessment in science organized by CBSE conducted at Ambika School, Puttur. Mrs. Rashmi Prashant and Mrs. Divya have attended two days training program on art integrated learning organized by CBSE on 14th and 15th at Ujre. Our principal and our teacher Radhika Rao have attended two days program on critical thinking and creativity organized by CBSC on the 28th and 29th of August at SSRVM. Our principal has attended a two days TOT training program organized by the CBSC and Institute of Secretariat Training and Management, ISTM, on 25th and 26th of October, held at SSRVM. She is now a certified trainer and resource person for CBSC Bengaluru. Our principal and Mrs. Babita have attended a one-day workshop on Jadui Pitara conducted by CBSC. It is an innovative teaching learning initiative introduced by CBSC board to make early education more engaging and innovative. All these training programs are conducted to ensure quality education and to address the evolving needs of all students. Our students are groomed in an environment of love, concern and care, taking into consideration their pace of learning. As we look to the future, we are committed 
to continuing this tradition of excellence, nurturing the skills and values that prepare our students for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. We plan to introduce new programs, upgrade facilities, and embrace more avenues for holistic development of our students. In conclusion, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to our teachers for their tireless efforts, to the parents for their unwavering support, and to our students for their enthusiasm and hard work. I also thank our administrative and support staff for ensuring the smooth functioning of the school. As we celebrate this special day, let us remember that each achievement, small or big, adds to the legacy of our school. Let us continue to support and inspire one another as we move forward. Thank you all for being the part of this journey and for joining us in today's celebration. To conclude, I assure the parents that every care will be taken to see that your child loves to come to school, develops good interpersonal relationship, and attains the expected level in all fields effortlessly. I thank one and all for your wonderful cooperation. Thank you. Have a great, great day. Respected uh, Principal Ma'am, Ms. Ranjita. Uh, respected uh, sir dr sorry M mohan sir i would like to first express my gratitude for inviting me to be the guest for today's celebration at your school and a very good morning to all the students parents and teachers who are present today when um, i had just spoken to uh, Ranjita ma'am a couple of days back with regards to what is it that is expected and this is the first time that you know I'm going in as a guest for a school day celebration. I'm from the background of business and then if you really have to go and meet uh, students of business management, uh, you know of those uh, institutions, you know it's very easy for you to go and speak because you know what you're doing and uh, when uh, asking me to come to an annual day program of a school and addressing the parents is a difficult task because I myself is a parent and she said something which I easily could relate to maybe if you can address on parenting in an age in an era of digital devices and I'm sure all of us here can connect it very well right I wouldn't, uh, I mean, uh, I'm not really targeting at giving any advice or anything on those lines. And I'm sure that uh, it has become a significant part of our life, right? Yeah, I mean, I would like to get some because it's a topic which needs a lot of uh, involvement of the parents. Um, this is something which I have found very difficult to, especially after the COVID time when uh, students, our children were used to the devices day in and day out in the name of uh, online classes. It was extremely difficult to migrate them from the digital devices when we moved to the offline classes. And I'm sure that all parents can relate to it, right? See, um, in an age where Everything happens on devices. Uh, we are there is nothing that we can. There's nothing that can replace technology in our life, right? Because education is uh, so much embedded with technology. So there is some, nothing that we can separate technology from our day-to-day -day lives. Be it at our office, be it at school, uh, be it in your classrooms, where you know teachers have to make a presentation to make it very engaging and. Uh, creative and uh, for you for your students your children to understand we need technology so where to draw a line see in school it is under a regulated environment right in a school when our children comes to a school when if they are exposed to technology in their computer labs they're learning something right but what about back home do they really need technology when they're back home I need uh, some answers. Yeah, parents, we are tired. Some of us are working full time. Father, sometimes mothers, right? Uh, we're very happy that when uh, children, like around 8 o'clock in the morning, 7.45 in the morning, I'm really happy. I've 
uh, I feel that you know I won half the battle for the day because my children are sent to school and then I can concentrate on my work. How many of you can relate to it? How many? I mean, like I, I would like to have a show of hands. And I'm sure all of us can relate to it, right? So when we're sending them to school, we are sending them, although we are sending them feeling happy, at the back of the mind, we are also, uh, you know, we are giving, it, giving them to the responsible hands in the school, right? So that you can peacefully stay at home or do your work, concentrate on your office and things like that. But once they are back home, are we free to spend some quality time with them? How many of us are free? to spend some quality. They'll be coming back at around 4 o'clock in the evening. Usually that's the time I think mostly students come back. Uh, I usually get back home at around 7.38. And it is uh, difficult, you know, it's a frustrating mood. Like you worked early morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, we all start our day and then we are so frustrated. We come back thinking that I need some time with TV or I need some time with my phone, myself, some me time, right? Some me time. How many of you would like to spend some me time with computers, mobiles and TV screens? All of us, right? I mean, it's all part of our life, like half an hour, 45 minutes in a day, we would like to take that break and it is required for us. But when our children ask, uh, when we need that break, when our children ask, can I watch some time on, uh, you know, on the devices? Can I switch on the computer or can I watch... TV, how many of us happily say yes? How many of us have, I mean, I used to say, not anymore, but I used to happily say, yes, please watch half an hour or 45 minutes, and then we forget when that half an hour ended, or when that 45 minutes, because we are too engrossed. I'm not, uh, you know, with all due respect to all the parents, because we are all busy, we are all having a tiring day and things like that. When we are on the mobile phone, how do we expect our children to stay away from the screens? Is it possible? They say, for every leaders, they say, leadership is only when you set an example. It is only by example, example, example. When we are on our mobile phones, instead of, uh, you know, we even read news on uh, mobile phones, but children may not understand that we are reading news from the mobile phones. We may be reading something, articles which is related to our work, which is if somebody is a doctor, then something related to their profession. Uh, they may be doing some journals and things like that, but the children may not understand. They want that attention. The minute they are understanding that they do not have that attention from their parents, it's very, very easy for them to get into the life of digital devices, right? Because mobile phones, every children is born with the smartness of uh, switching on, switching off, locking and locking. Everybody knows, like, you know, even children are born with those, uh, you know, they're very smart these days, you know. It's not like how uh, 30 or 35 years or 40 years back, how our childhood used to be. Children are born with such technological skills in their life. So it is only when, see, you all know Baiju's, right? Everybody must have heard of Baiju's at some point in Baiju, the edge, edge tech uh, platform where they used to conduct online platform. They didn't start like a technology platform. Uh, Baiju Ravindran, the founder, uh, uh, he started at, as a classroom sessions initially when he started. Then he realized as technology was also being advanced, they could see children uh, watching a lot of cartoon content, animation content, and he felt that engaging with the children is a uh, is an added way of convincing him with some uh, deeper understanding of subjects. So he understood that and he tried it with the parents, uh, you know, in such a way that they asked some questions to the parents, very tough questions to the children. They were not able to answer, but they gave a demo in terms of uh, uh, with a lot of animations, graphics, and you know, taught the subjects in a couple of minutes, and the children were able to grasp it better and answer. It was only he could only create this idea because he has seen children getting addicted to TV already. So parents were also very convinced, right? So technology is kind of an irris irri irreplaceable part of our life, but how do we manage it? We need to. Uh, like how many of us have uh, a screen time, allotted screen time, half an hour time for the children? Or like then you get back and tell them half an hour is over and it's time to move away. 
some of sometimes you know we feel so happy that okay fine they're not troubling me let them watch a little more i can also watch my mobile right so the first and foremost changes within us we need to change there's nothing that the children children are seeing us day in and day out they may be spending around 8 hours of their time in the school but the rest of the time they are with their parents this small mini replicas of parents right children are nothing but mini replicas we shout at them we scream at them for whatever they're doing but if you really move out of that frame of mind and sit back and think they are nothing but a replica of the husband and wife that you have created right they have inherited the genetic characteristics the traits of us our behaviors like if i and husband and wife at home if me and my husband has a shouting and an argument a heated argument they are observing children are observing us day in and day out and we are just the role models for them leave everybody you know great leaders that we may talk about they are the role models they may be listening to those stories but first and foremost parents are the role model for the children and it is us the change has to start with us if um, i mean uh, i used to be on instagram a lot and i used to think that was my uh, you know entertainment time back home after everybody is off to sleep like one two hours on instagram waste of time i realized i'm losing out on my sleep because i need to be up the next day at 4 o'clock in the morning i'm not getting my sleep it's affecting my health i uninstalled instagram i have an account i have it for my business purpose but i've uninstalled instagram and it is very healthy quality sleep that i get i think as parents we need to certain times and those that is not entertainment we are not getting gaining any knowledge out of being there on instagram maybe we are getting you know a little bit of networking but we are not getting anything out of it our, pa- our children are seeing us day in and day out we are with mobile phones we don't even give that due importance to the children sometimes children feel that right so it is high time we move away as i said the change starts with me the change starts with you only us only we can bring in a change in our children's life we really can't ask them to stop watching tv or accessing computers or youtube because the amount of content that is accessible to them is sometimes very very horrible uh, i'm sure that i will just end uh, this talk by saying that you know steve jobs uh, bill gates the all silicon valley founders of the 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 microsoft and the apple technology companies of the world they haven't allowed their children to access or own a mobile phone till the time they were 14 years old now you imagine do you want to do it for you the ones who have created these technology the ones who have created these devices for the world to progress they haven't allowed their children to access mobile mobile phones without being monitored now we need to think do we have to give our devices just even for the sake that you know i need some me time for that sake do we have to give it in our children's hand technology can it has pros and cons right it can be it can do wonders if it's used in the right way but children has not yet reached children up to 16 17 they will not they're still not in a stage to think for themselves or take decisions on their own so they will not know what is appropriate for their age so it's always good to limit that you cannot completely avoid it you can control it by regulating the time by monitoring it that's all from my side and uh, uh, it is nice to see all the parents uh, coming here and excitedly waiting for your uh, children's performance i wouldn't take much time and it was nice listening to uh, ranjita ma'am's uh, report which says that the school is extremely active and engaged in so many platforms it's not uh, curricular activities alone the extra curricular she's read about a lot of activities that uh, she, it keeps happening a lot of performance that the students do and also the engagement and the training programs that are being conducted for the student i mean for the teachers it is amazing to know that uh, sometimes we as parents don't really get completely engaged with the students growth i think it's time and it's a learning for me too that you know we need to be a little more deeply involved in our children's growth thank you so much for the opportunity thank you thank you ma'am for sharing your valuable thoughts there's an end for everything but we believe that there is never an end
but always a beginning. To conclude, today's formal function, I request my colleague, Mrs. Chetana Billari, to propose vote of thanks. Being monitored. Now we need to think, do we have to give our devices just even for the sake that, you know, I need some me time. For that sake, do we have to give it in our children's hand? Technology can, it has pros and cons, right? It can be, it can do wonders if it's used in the right way, but children has not yet reached, children up to 16, 17, they will not, they're still not in a stage to think for themselves or take decisions on their own. So they will not know what is appropriate for their age. So it's always good to limit that. You cannot completely avoid it. You can control it by regulating the time, by monitoring it. That's all from my side. And uh, uh, it is nice to see all the parents uh, coming here and excitedly waiting for your uh, children's performance. I wouldn't take much time. And it was nice listening to uh, Ranchita ma'am's uh, report, which says that the school is extremely active and engaged in so many platforms. It's not uh, curricular activities alone, the extracurricular. She's read about a lot of activities that uh, she, it keeps happening, a lot of performance that the students do. And also the engagement and the training programs that are being conducted for the student, I mean, for the teachers. It is amazing to know that uh, sometimes we as parents don't really get completely engaged with the students' growth. I think it's time and it's a learning for me too that, you know, we need to be a little more deeply involved in our children's growth. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing your valuable thoughts. There's an end for everything, but we believe that there is never an end, but always a beginning. To conclude, Today's formal function, I request my colleague, Mrs. Chetana Billari, to propose vote of thanks. Every celebration is incomplete without gratitude to those who made it possible. Good morning, everyone. As we come to the end of the formal function, it's my privilege to extend our sincere thanks to all who contributed in making today's annual day memorable success. Sorry. First and foremost, I wish to express my heartfelt gratitude to our guest of honor, Ms. Preeti Nayak, co-founder of Juice Bottle, whose presence has truly uplifted our spirits and her words has filled us with inspiration. Thank you, ma'am, for gracing us with your presence and motivating us to aim higher. Now, I request Sri Mahesh L. Bondal, sir, to hand over a memento to our guest as a token of love. Thank you, sir. A special thanks to our respected Sri Mahesh L. Bondal, sir, Secretary of Saraswat Education Society, for your continuous support and guidance. Your vision for the institution helped us to grow stronger every year, and today's event is a reflection of that. Thank you, sir. To our esteemed principal, Mrs. Ranjita Mahesh Joshi, ma'am, thank you for being the guiding force behind every achievement. Your dedication and commitment to our school drives us to reach greater heights. Thank you, ma'am. I take pleasure in thanking our member, members of the management, PTA members, esteemed invitees, all the office bearers of the Old Students Association of Anandashram High School for gracing this occasion with their presence and support. Thank you. Our sincere thanks to the heads of our sister institutions and all our well-wishers. Thank you for your continuous support and for being a part of our extended school family. Your encouragement and presence here means a lot to us. Thank you. As we say, the success of a school lies not just in its teachers and students, but also in the unwavering support of the parents who stand beside them. Now, I would like to extend a special thanks to our wonderful parents who are the true support system of our school.
your unwavering belief in us your encouragement and your active involvement make all the difference your presence today and throughout the year strengthens our school community and motivates us to keep striving for excellence our sincere thanks to the parents i would also like to take an opportunity to thank our talented choreographers who have poured lot of creativity patience and energy in preparing our students thank you all i take pleasure to thank our beloved teachers and non teaching staff who are the backbone of the success their continuous efforts in organizing this event has made everything run smoothly many thanks to all these wonderful people my heartfelt appreciation goes to all the amazing students who participated and made this event vibrant and to the teams working tirelessly behind the scenes your dedication and energy brought this event to life you made us all proud thank you everyone once again for making today's program a grand success let us continue to inspire and support each other in our journey forward last but not the least i would like to thank our technical support service providers of lights sound photography stage setting and caterers thank you so much for your valuable services let me leave you with this thought alone we can do so little together we can do so much thank you once again have a great day
പ്രകൃതി ശിവനോട് ചേർന്ന മരുമഴകാർമിടം സുന്ദരം മന്ദിരം സുരസമ്മതം ഓങ്കാരസാരം മഹാമുക്തി രൂപം ഭജേഹം ഭജേഹം നമാമി ഓങ്കാരസാരം മഹാമുക്തി രൂപം ഭജേഹം ഭജേഹം നമാമി together for the brilliant performance of the welcome dance what a vibrant and energetic start to our event
Give her a big round of applause for that soul-stirring performance. Thank you, Niswana. Foundation of life and beauty around us. Today, we are honored to present a dance performance that tells the story of nature, how it once was, how humanity was used its resources and challenges. Its, and you will see the impact of human activities. Now, we have used through this dance Hope you all remind everyone of the beauty of the nature, world and inspires all to act with respect and care. This Brahmanda Vibundu Sojiga Uhegu Nilukuda Vismaya Pancha Bhuta Galinda Adha Prapancha Istundu Sundara Yes. 
जगता प्यार है ಪಂಚತತ್ವಗಳಾದ ಶಬ್ದ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ರೂಪ ರಸಗಂಧಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರುವ ಭೂಮಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಜೀವ ವಿಕಸನವು ಆರಂಭವಾಯಿತು ಜಲವೇ ಮಾನ್ 
ಮನುಷ್ಯನ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆಗಳು ಅತಿಯಾದಂತೆ ಆಧುನಿಕತೆಯ ಅಮಲು ಬಲವಾದಂತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಯ ನಾಶ ಆರಂಭವಾಯಿತು ತಾನೇ ಬೆಳೆಸಿದ ಮರಗಳನ್ನು ಕಡಿಯತೊಡಗಿದ ಮರಗಳ ರೋದನೆಗೆ ಕಿವಿ ಕೊಡದೆ ಹೋದ ಮುಜಸೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಯ ಅಳಲಿಗೆ ಕಿವಿಗೊಡದ ಮಾನವ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಯ ಮೇಲೆ ರಾಕ್ಷಸನಂತೆ ಎರಗಿ ಹೋದ ಮರಗಳನ್ನು ಕಡಿದುದರಿಂದ ಗುಡ್ಡ ಕುಸಿಯತೊಡಗಿತು ಮಳೆ ಪ್ರಮಾಣದಲ್ಲಿ ವ್ಯತ್ಯಾಸವಾಯಿತು ಆಧುನಿಕತೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚಾದಂತೆ ಮನುಷ್ಯನ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಇಚ್ಛಾದಂತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಯ ನಾಶವಾಯಿತು ಕಾಶ್ಮೀರ್ ಮೇ ಫಿರ್ ಭಯಂಕರ ಬಾರ್ 
No breaking news alert this morning right now. We do know that the U.S. Geological Survey is reporting a magnitude 7.6 earthquake. A tsunami warning has been issued in this. Rajyadali corona sunkin inda nene nora hadnal kujana mrita patti tare. ಇನ್ನಾದರೂ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಇಚ್ಚಿತ್ತುಕೊಳ್ಳದಿದ್ದರೆ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ನಾಶವಾಗುವುದು ಖಂಡಿತ ನಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದಿನ ಪೀಳಿಗೆಗಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಯನ್ನು ರಕ್ಷಿಸೋಣ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಒಂದಾಗಿ ಗಿಡಮರಗಳನ್ನು ಬೆಳೆಸೋಣ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛತೆಯನ್ನು ಕಾಪಾಡೋಣ ಭೂಮಿಯ ಭವಿಷ್ಯವನ್ನು ಭದ್ರಪಡಿಸೋಣ और है समझना अपनी आंखें खोले और कुछ करे अभी 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 आओ बनाए एक बेहतर कल आओ शुरू करे अभी हमारे ग्रह पर आई समस्या आओ सुलझाए इससे मिलकर हम अभी 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 आओ बनाए बेहतर कल आओ शुरू करे अभी आओ पेड़ उगाए कचड़ा हटाए गलती सुधारे हाथ बढ़ाए हम अभी 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 आओ बनाए एक बेहतर कल आओ शुरू करे अभी this performance truly celebrates the harmony of the nature a big round of applause for this enchanting nature dance ಇಲ್ಲಿಗಿರಿ ನನ್ನ 
क्या सपना देख रही हो मेरे इस छोटे से दिल में बहुत सपना है दिल है छोटा सा छोटी सी आशा मस्ती भरे मन की भोली सी आशा चांद तारों को छूने की आशा आसमानों में उड़ने की आशा मेरा सपना है पायलट बनना इंजीनियर बनना मेरा सपना है मेरा सपना है एक्ट्रेस बनना मेरा सपना है डॉक्टर बनना कुछ पाने की हो आस आस कोई अरमा हो जो खास खास आशा है हर कोशिश में हो बार बार कर दरिया को आर पार आशा है तूफानों को चीर के मंजिलों को छीन ले आशा तुम्हारा सपना क्या है मेरा सपना है मेरी माँ मेरे पास वापस आ जाए छुपी बहुत हुई सामने आ जाना कहा कहा ढूंढा तुझे थके है अब तेरी माँ आजा सांझ हुई मुझे तेरी मेरा सपना है कि तुम सोल्जर बनो और देश की रक्षा करो क्यों न बोले मोसे मोहन क्यों है रूठे रूठे मोहन यू कैसे मनाओ है कैसे मनाऊ उन बिन कटे न रहना उन बिन आवे न एक पल चैना उन बिन जियो तो कैसे मैं जियो जाने वाले वापस नहीं आते तुम अपनी माँ के सपना पूरा करो वक्त में भी हम न कोई हौसला दिल के साथ चलने का यू कर ले फैसला हम जो चुने तो मिलता जोश है सरफरोश है जीत का जश्न हम मनाएंगे आसमां तिरंगा सजाना है शान से सभी को बताएंगे जीत के साथ कभी अपनों के सपनों को भी पूरा करके जीवो I'm not afraid.
ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಆನಂದ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ತಾಯಿ ತಂದ ಜನ್ಮದಿಂದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನಂದ ಗುರುಗು ತಂದ ಪುಣ್ಯದಿಂದ ಜನುಮಾನಂದ ನಿಸರಿ ಮಗಮರಿಸಾನಂದ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಗಮರಿಸಾನಂದ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾನಸ ಪುತ್ರರಾದ ಸನಕಾದಿಗಳನ್ನು ವೈಕುಂಠ ಪ್ರವೇಶಿಸದಂತೆ ತಡೆಯುತ್ತಾರೆ ಇದರಿಂದ ಶಾಪಗ್ರಸ್ತರಾದ ಅವರು ಭೂಲೋಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿರಣ್ಯಾಕ್ಷ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಕಶಿಪ್ ಆಗಿ ಜನಿಸುತ್ತಾರೆ ಹರಿದ್ವೇಷಿಯಾದ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಕಶಿಪನು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನನ್ನು ಕುರಿತು ಘೋರವಾದ ತಪಸ್ಸನ್ನು ಆಚರಿಸುತ್ತಾನೆ ಹಗಲಲ್ಲಾಗಲಿ ರಾತ್ರಿಯಲ್ಲಾಗಲಿ ಭೂಮಿಯಲ್ಲಾಗಲಿ ಆಕಾಶದಲ್ಲಾಗಲಿ ಮನೆಯ ಒಳಗಾಗಲಿ ಹೊರಗಾಗಲಿ ಪಶು ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಮೃಗಾದಿಗಳಿಂದಾಗಲಿ ಶಸ್ತ್ರಗಳಿಂದಾಗಲಿ ಅಸ್ತ್ರಗಳಿಂದಾಗಲಿ ಸುರ ನರ ಯಕ್ಷ ರಾಕ್ಷಸ ಕಿನ್ನರ ಕಿಂ ಪುರುಷರಿಂದಾಗಲಿ ತನಗೆ ಮರಣ ಬಾರದಂತೆ ವರ ಕೇಳುತ್ತಾನೆ ಇತ್ತ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದನು ಹರಿಭಕ್ತನಾಗಿ ಬೆಳೆಯುತ್ತಿರುತ್ತಾನೆ ಲೋಕಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ನಾನೇ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರ ನಾನೇ ಚಕ್ರೇಶ್ವರ ನನ್ನನ್ನೇ ದೇವರೆಂದು ಪೂಜಿಸಬೇಕೆಂದು ಹಿರಣ್ಯಕಶಿಪನು ಹೇಳುತ್ತಾನೆ ಆದರೆ
ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ ನಿರಾಕರಿಸುತ್ತಾನೆ ಇದರಿಂದ ಕೋಪೋದ್ರಿಕ್ತನಾದ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಕಶುಬನು ಮಗನನ್ನು ಕೊಲ್ಲಲು ಅನೇಕ ತಂತ್ರಗಳನ್ನು ಹೂಡುತ್ತಾನೆ ಆದರೂ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ ಬದುಕುಳಿಯುವುದನ್ನು ಕಂಡು ಹರಿಯ ಇರುವಿಕೆಯ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದನು ಸಕಲ ಚರಾಚರ ವಸ್ತುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅಣು ರೇಣು ತೃಣ ಕಾಷ್ಟ ಎಲ್ಲದರಲ್ಲೂ ಹರಿಯಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಎಂಬ ನುಡಿಯಿಂದ ಕೋಪೋದ್ರಿಕ್ತನಾದ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಕಶುಪ್ಪನ ಆರ್ಭಾಟ ತಾರಕಕ್ಕೇರಿದಾಗ ಕಂಬದಿಂದ ಹೊರಬಂದ ಉಗ್ರ ರೂಪಿ ನರಸಿಂಹ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಕಶುಪನನ್ನು ಸಂಹಾರ ಮಾಡುವ ದೃಶ್ಯ ರೂಪಕವೇ ಭಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ ನಾಟಕ ಇದೀಗ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದೆ ಭಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ ನಾಟಕ ಗುರುಗಳು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದು ನಿಜ ತಾನೇ ಯಾವುದೇ ತಂದೆ ನೀನವರ ಬುದ್ಧಿಯ ಮಾತನ್ನು ತಿರಸ್ಕರಿಸಿ ಅವಿಧೇಯತೆಯಿಂದ ನಡೆದುಕೊಂಡೆಯಂತೆ ಇಲ್ಲವಲ್ಲ ಸತ್ಯವನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಯಾವುದು ಸತ್ಯ ನಾನು ಎನ್ನುವುದು ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ನನ್ನದು ಎನ್ನುವುದು ಅವಿವೇಕ ನನ್ನಿಂದಲೇ ಎನ್ನುವುದು ಅಹಂಕಾರ ನಾರಾಯಣನೊಬ್ಬನೇ ಸತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯ ಹುಚ್ಚುಬಾಯಿ ಕರೆದುಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿ ಅವನನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಹರಿಭಕ್ತರಿಗೆ ಕೊಡುವ ಸನ್ಮಾನ ಸಮಾರಂಭವನ್ನು ತೋರಿಸು ಹೇಗಾದರೂ ಸರಿ ಅವನು ಸತ್ಯ ಸುದ್ದಿಯನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಸಿದರೆ ಸಾಕು ಕರೆದುಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿ ಇದು ದಾನವ ಸಾಮ್ರಾಜ್ಯ ನಮಗೆದುರಾದವರಿಗೆ ಉಳಿವಿಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನ ಮಾತು ಕೇಳು ಹರಿಯನ್ನು ಮರೆತು ಬಿಡು ಹರಿದ್ವೇಷವನ್ನು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬಿಡಿ ಎಂದರೆ ನೀವು ಒಪ್ಪುತ್ತೀರಾ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ನೀನು ನನ್ನ ಮಾತನ್ನು ಕೇಳುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ನೋಡು ಹರಿಭಕ್ತರಿಗೆ ಸಿಗುವ ಶಿಕ್ಷೆಯನ್ನು
ಸತ್ಯ ವಾಕ್ಯವನ್ನು ಪಾಲಿಸಬೇಕಾದ್ದು ಸತ್ಯ ಧರ್ಮ ನಿಜ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಅದೇ ಅವಳ ಧರ್ಮ ನಿಜ ಅದೇ ಅವಳ ಧರ್ಮ ನೀನು ಪತಿವ್ರತ ತಾನೆ ಪತಿ ಆಜ್ಞೆಯನ್ನು ಉಲ್ಲಂಘಿಸಬಾರದೆಂಬ ನೀತಿ ನಿನಗೆ ತಿಳಿದಿದ್ದ ತಾನೆ ಹೌದು ಹೌದು ಪ್ರಸ್ತಾವನೆಗೆ ವಿಷವನ್ನು ಕೊಡಿಸು ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನನ್ನು ಮರೆಯಲು ಸಾಧ್ಯವೇ ಸುಳ್ಳಾಡಿದರೆ ಅವನು ಮೆಚ್ಚುವನೇ ಅದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಈ ವಿಷ ಕುಡಿಯುವುದರ ಮೇಲು ಏನೂ ಮಾಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಬೆಂಕಿ ಸುಡದವನನ್ನು ಸರ್ಪ ಕಚ್ಚದವನನ್ನು ಆನೆ ತುಳಿಯದವನನ್ನು ಕಯಾದು ನೀ ಕೊಟ್ಟ ವಿಷ ಅವನನ್ನು ಕೊಲ್ಲುತ್ತದೆ ಎಂದು ನಾನು ಭಾವಿಸಿದ್ದರೆ ನನ್ನಂಥ ತಿಳಿಗೇಡಿ ಯಾರೂ ಇರಲು ಸಾಧ್ಯವಿಲ್ಲ ಕಯಾದು ಜಗತ್ತಿನಲ್ಲಿ ತಾಯಿಗಿಂತ ಪವಿತ್ರವಾದ ವಸ್ತು ದೇವರು ಯಾರೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಈ ನಿನ್ನ ಮಗ ನಿನಗಾಗಿಯಾದರೂ ನಿನ್ನ ಕಣ್ಣೀರಿಗಾಗಿಯಾದರೂ ಬೆಲೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಹರಿನಾಮ ಸ್ಮರಣೆಯನ್ನು ಬಿಡುತ್ತಾನೆ ಎಂದು ನಾನು ಭಾವಿಸಿದ್ದೆ ಆದರೆ ಸುಳ್ಳಾಯಿತು ಇವನ ಸಾಧಾರಣನಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಕೊಲೆಗಾರನನ್ನಾಗಿಯೇ ಮಾಡಬೇಕೆಂದು ಬಂದಿರುವ ಘಾತುಕ ತಂಡೆಯಿಂದಲೇ ಮಗನ ಸಂಹಾರವಾಗಬೇಕೆಂದಿದ್ದರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ತಪ್ಪಿಸಲು ಯಾರಿಗೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಕಪ್ಪ ನಿನಗೆ ಹಠ ಯಾವ ನಿನ್ನ ತಂದೆಯ ಹೆಸರನ್ನು ಕೇಳಿದ ಮಾತ್ರದಿಂದಲೇ ತ್ರಿಮೂರ್ತಿಗಳು ಗಡಗಡೆ ನಡುಗುವರು ಹೇಗಿರುವಾಗ ಕಾಣದ ಆ ಹರಿಯ ಮೇಲಿರುವ ನಿನ್ನ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಕಣ್ಣೆದುರಿಗಿರುವ ಈ ತಂದೆಯ ಮೇಲೆ ಏಕಪ್ಪ ಇಲ್ಲ ಜನ್ಮ ಕೊಟ್ಟ ತಂದೆಗಿಂತ ದೇವರೊಬ್ಬ ದೇವನಿರುವನೇ ಇಲ್ಲವೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾನಲ್ಲದೆ ಮತ್ತೊಬ್ಬ ದೇವನಿರಲು ಸಾಧ್ಯವಿಲ್ಲ ಜಗತ್ತಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ನಾನೇ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರ ನೀನು ನನಗೆ ಜನ್ಮ ಕೊಟ್ಟವನು ನಿಜ ನಿನಗೆ ಜನ್ಮ ಕೊಟ್ಟವರು ಯಾರು ನನ್ನ ತಂದೆ ಕಶ್ಯಪ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅವರ ತಂದೆ ಚತುರ್ಮುಖ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅವರ ತಂದೆ ಯಾರು ಏಕೆ ತಂದೆ ಸುಮ್ಮನಾದೆ ಆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ ತಂದೆ ಯಾರು ಯಾರಾದ್ರೂ ಇರಲೇಬೇಕಲ್ಲವೇ ಅವನೇ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಲವಿಲ್ಲವ ಕಡು ಮೂರ್ಖ ನುಡಿಯದಿರು ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಸೀಳುವೆನು 
ಹರಿಯನು ಬನಾನಿಗೆಯನ ಕಡುವೈರಿನ ಮಗವನು ಕಡುವೈರಿನ ಮಗವನು ಮೃಡನಾಣೆ ಹೇಳುವೆನು ಪಡಿದು ಕೊಲ್ಲುವೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ತೋರುವವನ ಚರಣ ವಿಶ್ವವನೇ ಆಳುತಿಹ ದಾನವೇಶ್ವರನೆದುರು ವಿಶ್ವರೂಪಿಯು ಹರಿಯು ಎನ್ನುವೆಯ ಮೂಢ ದಿಟ್ಟತನ ಬಿದ್ದರೆ ಎದುರಿಸಲಿ ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಮಿಟ್ಟಿ ತುಳಿಯುವೆ ಅವನ ಶಿರವನ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನೇ ಹೆದರಿಸುವ ವಿವೇಕಿ ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಎಂದು ಗಂಟಲು ಹರಿದುಕೊಳ್ಳಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾನು ಆನಿನ ಹರಿ ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಸಕಲ ಚರಾಚರ ವಸ್ತುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅವನೇನು ದೃಢ ಕಾಷ್ಟಗಳೆಲ್ಲದರಲ್ಲೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅವನೆಲ್ಲದ ಸ್ಥಳವೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸಕಲ ಚರಾಚರ ವಸ್ತುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅವನೇನು ದೃಢ ಕಾಷ್ಟಗಳೆಲ್ಲದರಲ್ಲೂ ಇರುವನು ಇರುವನು ಈ ಭೂಮಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇರುವನು ಆಕಾಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಬೆಂಕಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ನೀರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಗಾಳಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ನನ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಿನ್ನಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ನಿನ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನನ್ನಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ನಿನ್ನಲ್ಲಿದ್ದರೂ ಇರಬಹುದು ನಿನ್ನಲ್ಲಿದ್ದರೂ ಇರಬಹುದು ಈ ಅರಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿರುವನು ಇರುವನು ಎಲ್ಲಿ 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 ನೋಡಬೇಕೆಂದರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಬೇಕೆಂದರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಬೇಕೆಂದರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಕಂಬದಲ್ಲಿರುವನೇ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಈ ಕಂಬದಲ್ಲಿರುವನೇ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಈ ಕಂಬದಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಕಂಬದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಆ ಕಂಬದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಈ ಕಂಬದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ
भले भले प्रहलाद कुमार छलगार नीने सरी वैकुंठवने गलबरू का नुल वैरियल तोरसीबिटी आ मगने मगन पड़े नन्म सार्थक सार्थक वैकुंठ द्वारपालक जैव चीर शापग्रस्तर जनसदे जन्म जन्म भक्तन अनुग्रह इनक्रेडिबल क
ಮುನಿವರ ಆರತಿ ಉತಾರೆ ಜಯ 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 ಹನುಮ ಉಚಾರೆ ಲಂಕಾಚಾರಿ ಅಸುರ ಸಂಹಾರೆ ಜೋ ಹನುಮಾನಕ್ಕೆ ಆರತಿ ಪಾವೆ ಬಸಿ ವೈಕುಂಠ ಪರಮ ಪದ ಪಾವೆ ಶ್ರೀಯಾಂಜನೇಯ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನಾಂಜನೇಯ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮದೂತ ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ವೀರ ಪ್ರಳಯ ವಿನಡೆಯಲಿ ಅಸುರರ ಎದುರಿಸು ಗಗನ ವಿಚರುಗಲಿ ಕಡಗಡ ನಡುಗಿಸು ಧರ್ಮ ನಂದನ ತೇಜ ಪ್ರತಾಪ ಮಹಾಜಗವಂದನ ರಾಮ ದೂತ ಅತುಲಿತ ಬಲಧಾಮ ಅಂಜನಿ ಪುತ್ರ ಪವನ ಸುತ ನಾಮ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಹಿ ಇಸ ಧರೋಹರ ಹೇಖ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಕುಲ್ಕಿಯ 
Manipuri dance is one of the seven major traditional Indian classical dance forms from Manipur. <laughs> is a major form of Indian classical dance that is originated in the state of Tamil Nadu. Gujarat Garba is a circular form of dance that involves clapping and whirling around what is usually an idol of the mother goddess in the center. It is accompanied by music and singing. is a type of traditional dance of the Indian subcontinent originating in the Majha area of Punjab. <laughs> is a combination of traditional song and dance which is particularly performed to the beats of Tolki. Lavni is a genre of music popular in Maharashtra. <laughs> Rajasthan is renowned for its rich and vibrant folk dance traditions that reflect its culture, history, and way of life.
Bengal boasts a diverse range of traditional dance forms, each reflecting the state's rich cultural heritage and regional variations. Kathak is one of the eight classical dance forms of India, originating from Uttar Pradesh. It is known for its intricate footwork, fast spins, expressive gestures. <laughs> In Madhya Pradesh, Badhai or Badhaya is a traditional folk dance performed primarily by the Bandalfindi community to celebrate auspicious occasions like weddings, childbirth and festivals. The dance is lively and expressive, reflecting joy and gratitude for happy events. Yakshagana is a traditional folk dance drama form of Karnataka, known for its vibrant costumes, elaborate makeup, and dynamic performances. <laughs> Mohiniyattam is a classical dance form originating from Kerala, known for its graceful, swaying movements and emphasis on lasya.
तो कैसी लगी आपको भारत की विविधता में एकता की ये तस्वीर The confidence, style, and creativity displayed by the participants were absolutely breathtaking. Give a big cheer! कैसी लगी आपको भारत की विविधता में एकता की ये तस्वीर The confidence, style, and creativity displayed by the participants were absolutely breathtaking. Give a big cheer! Sahasralochana pravritya 
शेषलेख शेखर प्रसूल दोलि धोरणी विदो सरा कृपीठ मृतराज मालया निबद्ध जाट जूट कक्षय चिराय जायता चोर बंधु शेखर
जब जब धर्म को हानि होती है जब जब अधर्म में वृद्धि होती है तब तब सत्पुरुषों के उद्धार के लिए अधर्मियों के विनाश के लिए और धर्म की पुनः स्थापना के लिए मैं ही जन्म लेता हूं ये प्रत्येक युग में होता आया है और आगे भी ऐसा ही होगा जो हुआ वो अच्छा हुआ जो हो रहा है वो अच्छा हो रहा है क्या गया तुम्हारा जो तुमने खो दिया खाली हाथ आए थे तुम खाली हाथ जाओगे गीतसार में जो लिखा वो सत्य है वो सत्य है गीतसार में जो लिखा वो सत्य है वो सत्य है गीतसार में जो लिखा वो सत्य है वो सत्य है गीतसार में जो लिखा वो सत्य है वो सत्य है यदा यदा इधर मस्य धर्मभव दिवारता अभिधान धर्म से धर्म संस्थापनाथा संभवानी युगे युगे यदा यदा ही धर्म से धर्मभवती भारता अभिधान धर्म से तदात्मा सृजम्यहम परित्राणा साधुना विनाशा चतुष्टता धर्म संस्थापनाथा संभवानी युगे युगे बिग राउंड ऑफ एप्लॉज फॉर द परफॉर्मर्स हू brilliantly depicted the 10 incarnation of lord vishnu with such grace energy and devotion निकर वरदिया स्पष्ट चित्रणा